What's up my fellow Dauntless Doug Trios dicing up the dick of reality. Today we are back with a date with death. So if you're ready to rip the fucking hat oh my g ow! Oh shit! Oh frick! Oh no! Oh fuck! Oh that was unfortunate. I I dropped so much shit right there. <laughs> we'll worry about that later when I'm not recording, but like <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, but like, goddamn. Wait, 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 did I not, what, I, did I press new game on accident, hold up, let's load, let's load our buddy, yeah, there we are, there we are, yeah, 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 um, but if you're ready to riz up death, let's, let's dive into it, are you sure, positive, anyway, now that I have your divided attention, um, that almost sounded romantic, death can be quite romantic, don't you think? Have a good night, Atlas. Good luck avoiding me tomorrow evening. Did I? <laughs> I ended it right before day two. Like, literally two lines before day two last time. If I would have waited two fucking seconds, I would have ended day two. But, you know, sometimes it'd be, <laughs> be like that. Anyways, something felt strange, but whenever you looked, no one was there. Curious. As you're walking home, contemplating this feeling, you can hear the sound of heavy wheels. You can hear your head to see. You turn your head to see a truck rushing down the hill towards you. No one sits in the driver's seat. Keep walking. Uh, yeah, just fucking mind your own business. I don't have a problem with ghost trucks. They don't fuck with me. I don't fuck with them. I look at them and be like, God damn, that's a ghost truck coming right for me. Please don't run me over. Mr. Ghost Truck, here's my request. I was like, oh shit, my bad. I wasn't paying attention, homie. Swerves to the side. Doesn't run me over. I'm like, thank you, Mr. Ghost Truck. And we both go about our day. That's the respectable thing to do when you see a ghost driving a truck coming right at you. This We all know this is common etiquette. You hear crumbling, collapsing crash, and so watch as a truck falls down into a sinkhole that appeared out of nowhere. Strange, but luckily you are in escape. This happens to me all the time. This is true, this is true. This, this does happen to me every moment of my life. Let's pet the dog. What's up, Winnie? Check up on Winnie. What's up, Winnie? Wind's rolling around your bed, enjoying the last traces of sunlight. She looks tired after the walk you took a reel. You have stumbled upon a new dog park nearby and spent the after baller. It was a great night for both of you. Let's pet the homie. Let's just pet the homie. Yeah. You pull out one of Winnie's favorites, three metal cups and a handful of dog treats. Baller. We fucking ballin', boys. She instantly recognizes the game you're about to play and sits on the floor waiting for it to begin. You place the treats underneath the cup and then shuffle them around slowly. Winnie and I follow the cup out the entire time. She's very good at playing this game and, of course, correctly identifies the cup with the treats under it. She munches happily on the menu prepared for her round of the round. Baller! Can I look at the plants? Can I you give your plants some water. They don't sp um, speak sprout, but it says thank you. Baller! What was the other option? Plants love water, right? More water! Yeah, let's kill this plant. Let's kill this plant. It's only natural. We're killing this plant, homies. I just wanted to see the other dialogue option, but no more watering. I want to kill the plant. Fuck the plant. Update appearance? Sure. Uh, oh, we could, uh, what's the DLC look like? Okay, never mind. Fuck that. <laughs> it sent me to a link. I just wanted to see what it would look like on me. Oh, look at me. I have big booba. Um, I look, I look fucking schnice, but I, I think this appearance, the pirate fit, this is what I want in life. Um, my hair, it'd be looking perfect. I, I don't need, I don't need, I am already perfect, I don't need a change. Fuck you. Uh, your mom's not perfect. Got him. Check the computer, yeah, let's, let's dive into it, boys. It's enough pandering around, doing gay shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, I, I didn't mean to like, I didn't mean to ru ruin the dick. No, I just, I just, uh, no, 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 no. hold up. Let's just, yeah, there we go. And then we, there we go. What a lovely drawing, boys. What a lovely drawing. Can I make white stuff? <laughs> I'm a fucking child. Anyways, let's enter the chat. <laughs> the chat room will begin. Proceed. Yeah. Uh, 
Anyways. Mortal. Don't call upon me upon this day. Adhere to my words, else the curse shall befall upon you. Alright, nerd. What? Message not sent. Hello? Message not sent. Grim? Message not sent. Hello? Message not sent. Warning! Warning, warning. Error. Oh, there's a terrible error in your computer. You've watched too much porn. You need to stop that. Fucking weirdo. Why is there so much Futa Hentai on your computer? Holy shit! There's so much Futa Hentai everywhere I look. It's just tabs and tabs of Futa Hentai. What are you doing, young laddie? <laughs> the screens of the computer go dark. No matter how many times you press the on button, it still won't turn back on. Frustrated, you start to contemplate once again, throwing your laptop out the window. You decide against it. Who can afford a new life? <laughs> real, fucking real boys. You're waiting out there like for 25 minutes when a ding comes from your computer and gets your attention. Slowly it boosts back up, but you're not greeted by your desktop. Instead, you see a call already connected. <gasps> Why are you incapable of listening, nor following a single instruction? Or, well, yes. I swear you don't listen purposely. purposely. Yeah. Fuck you. I, I'm purposely not listening to it, because you a bitch. Why is your camera off? I'm trying to see your gorgeous death face. And what do you want with the, my computer? It's none of your business. It, 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 it is my computer. It is quite literally my business. You are not meant to admit it. What am I supposed to do with you? I see. I see. Mmm. I see. Very clearly. For you were not to call upon me. Call upon these nuts fucking Gorham. Technically, I didn't. I only sent you a message. Smiley face. And they didn't even send. Why did something happen? I obviously didn't. Do not disturb me. Do not call me. Do not message me. Yet, you could not seem to understand something so simple. So, I disabled the functions. Even that didn't deter you. Okay, but why? Uh... Does this have to, something to do with your camera being off? Are you act, are you being are you edging right now? Are you fucking edging right now, bro? Oh yo, this dude edging! Yo, everyone point a laugh at him! <laughs> this dude edging! <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I um, are you okay? It's nothing to worry about. You're edging, aren't you? You can tell me if there's a problem. What makes you think there's a problem? Maybe I simply want a day of peace and quiet. Two things you're notoriously bad at. Someone's assumed array. You say that, and yet you called me anyways. So it makes me seem like something happened. It seems like your skills of dediction. Dediction? I'm about to get that dediction from death. We about to go on a date and fuck! Anyways, <laughs> are adequate at least. So, what's wrong? I do not wish to discuss this matter. Somehow I miss your face. Oh, I got so much Riz, boys. I'm such- I'm a fucking Rizzler. How about turning on your camera for me, baby girl? Just for me? Ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. Grim? Grimmy Wimmy. <laughs> no, I prefer not to. It's not a good idea at the present moment. Why, are you edging? What's that supposed to mean? Are you hurt? I suppose you could say that. Really? That's hot. Grim? Stop yelling. My mind needs to say- watch him like dye his hair or something and look- Did he dye his hair black because I kept bowling him into making his hair black? And then he did it and now he doesn't like it? Is he just like Hal from Hal's Moving- I'm literally Hal from Hal's Moving Castle, you can't take this from me. I'm Hal, not you. Get the fuck out, I will 1v1 you, you grim reaper ass bitch. I will fight this death himself. Because I am Hal, I'm literally him. Fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself, mate. Yes, there's, there's something wrong with your hearing today. Or perhaps there's a parrot in the call with us. Your sass hasn't been hurt, I see. <laughs> the only thing that's been hurt is his ass because of how thick it is. I don't think that makes sense, but we're just gonna roll with it. I simply need to replenish my energy. You wouldn't understand. Okay, edgy boy. That I can't understand. You should take a nap. It helps with the edge. It only partially help. I just need a rebalance. I just need some time. It's nothing personal, sorry. You make me worry, darling. Which is why I told you to leave me alone today. To rebalance? Yes, my spore has spent too heavily today. What the fuck does that even mean? Let us review him via text. Um, okay. Call ended. Goodbye, death.
What you doing? You rebalancing your chakras or something, homie? That's what's up. This will work better. You are simply too bright. Oh, I get that all the time. I'm, I'm a bright and brilliant soul. The light exudes from my skin, leaving all that see my bright and brilliant aura to be confounded in awe, amazement, and internal peace. This happens all the time. This is why everyone falls in love with me so effortlessly. We can get magic stories? Spread your wings? I'm spreading your mother's wings. Fucking her silly bluebird. Slug boy, slug on these nuts, boy. D and I. Okay. <laughs> Dude, too bright. Like sunlight. Blinding on so, so romantic. Can't decide if you meant that as a compliment or insult. Honestly? How could someone's aura be so intense? I'm a baller like that. I got that dog in me. And yet be so not. Hey, what the fuck is that supposed to mean? I'm unsure. Um, what are you talking about? You're an enigma to me. I'm so confused right now, bro. That's to be expected. What do you mean by aura? You wouldn't understand. After all, your eyes cannot see what mine can see. Your aura, your soul, is like a mirage. I uh, see? No, you don't. It's beyond unusual. Most living creature. I predicted this, by the way. I was talking about how my aura has just a baller ass aura that no one's ever seen before because I'm in a unique and individual soul that fucking shines brightly in the fucking sea of NPCs we got around here. And I just want to be the very best like no one ever was. Anyways, most living creatures have solid colors that surround them. Most? Most. Some with a stronger connection to um, the beyond and may have an aura with multiple colors. But the coloring is still the solid, always. Ah! I still don't understand. Do you have my condition? What? No! You're not paying attention properly. Just listen. Your aura, since we first uh, spoke, I've been studying it, does not resemble a living being's aura at all. Because I'm that dog. I got that dog in me. I'm a fucking dog. <laughs> You're trying to tell me I'm dead? You're not dead. The aura of the dead is like smoke, I suppose. I'll be chief in that dead smoke. <laughs> Half in your grandpa's ashes, like. Shit hits hard. There's a strong stench, as it ended as thick. Yours is not like that either. So I'm better than dead. What's my soul like? Have I reached enlightenment yet? Like sunlight shining through a fog. But when I look closer, it's like a mirage. It's like it's there, but it's not. The colors are strong yet empty. Seems like a contradiction to me. And that's why it's like a mirage. It does not make sense. Have you been cursed? Or maybe a blood promise that broke it. The blood one now? Man, I'm just trying to play my video game and shit. Judging by your lack of understanding, I'd say not. One cannot enter into a blood promise without the understanding of the consequences of breaking one, obviously. And since you show no understanding of what on even is, Grim, I literally have no clue what this all even is about. I'm just trying to talk to you, homie. Do you mind being normal for one fucking second? Blood promises and curses? That stuff is out of fantasy books. Not real life. Uh, that is entirely untrue. You just haven't lived a life where you've witnessed a, nor participated in such things. How exactly do I get to you to understand? If you start making sense, then I'd understand. Oh god, Atlas spitting straight fag. Oh, ooh, ooh, I forgot I could change this. I want to be a little ghosty boy. I'm gonna go because this is my soul. This is my soul right here. I have an idea. You know what? After this whole weird conversation, I don't know if I like the thought of you having an idea. You're not the smartest. You do not believe my words. It just makes no sense. You will just have to try. Aren't human these days supposed to be open-minded? So what is this idea of yours, then? I'm going to channel some of my life force into you. What? The fuck? Then maybe you'll take me seriously. As a reaper, it will pose no challenge to me. In theory. Erm. Um, uh. Err. How exactly does one channel life force? And what does that exactly mean? I know you have been playing your old grim reaper thing. But if you just got on a buttload of strangers, boy. 
I've not lied to you, not even once since we met. If you want to prove that, then look into my eyes. I will form a connection between us. Right, right, I see. Connection can be seen as a gateway to one's soul. And it is necessary to form the bridge between us. A bridge, of course, of course, we all know this. Could I be a pretty bridge of rainbows and showburst happiness? That makes you happy, sure. It's a pretty big bridge. Yes, yes, the Shurak. A connection is formed. I will transform a part of my consciousness to you. You what? You fucking what, mate? Is this like a demonic possession I've seen in the movies? Is this the Hollywood death scene? Truthfully? I suppose so, yes. They are quite similar. That's comfort! This is the first time for everything, I guess. Like, say you're not one. What will happen to me? Nothing bad will happen. Unless you resist me, of course. Once a connection is made. And if I resist, your mind will simply break apart and fracture. I'm stronger, and your mind will not be able to fight back against me. Oh, doesn't sound good, boys. Fracture. What does that mean exactly? Your mind will fall apart. It already has a lot of. You lose the ability to understand life. I already have, laddie. <laughs> Essentially, you will lose yourself. Lose yourself in the music of Eminem. I don't fucking know, man. I, I... <clears throat> I wouldn't be me anymore. No. You'd be a husk. An empty shell of yourself. Typically, a perfect vessel for a demon to inhabit. And yet, they are really a hassle to deal with. So why not? Let's just do that, yeah? Uh... So is this... Consequential possession, huh? And if I change my mind... Boom! Demon time! When you put it like that, it makes it sound like I'm doing something forbidden. You are! Sounds pretty forbidden to me, not gonna lie. If it doesn't fall under the classification of possession unless it's forcefully taken control of your body. I read that so wrong. So you aren't breaking any underwater rule <laughs> underworld rules then, huh? You little fishy. Little dim little grim fishy. Grim? Uh shall we begin? Grim, you're Yes or yes. I was gonna say no, but I, I guess bottom yes. Still no camera, really. How am I supposed to look out into your eyes if I can't see them? Oh, there he is, the baddie himself. Happy now? More than happy. You don't look very hurt. What? You said. It's not something visible to the eye. No, is it anything for you to think heavily on. So, no need to bring it up. Can you just tell me? I'll worry otherwise. It's simply my mind. It's fractured. Demented. I've been listening too much Lincoln Park. It starts with why. One thing I don't know why. <laughs> Doesn't really matter how hard you try to keep this in mind. Show this mind the connection, joining things. Nah, wait then. <laughs> I try to make it work. It didn't. You know. Uh, no, no, we're not gonna make that work. Tell you recovered. Um, I suppose that would be sensible thing to do, but it's nothing. I haven't dealt with before. Let's go ahead with it. Alright, let's ball. Is this not, like, dangerous for your health or whatever? As long as I don't delve into your mind too deep, it'll be fine, I hope. Alright, well, I, I guess if you say so. What is this, by the way? Oh, what is this? I don't know. Well, if you say so, just... Yes? Don't look away into the connection form. Hi. How I know one is formed, you'll feel it. And I shall tell you, of course. What about that resistant shit? Once I've connected to you, my consciousness will merge with yours. You shall feel me around you. Just don't try to push me away. If you try to force me out, it will cause an imbalance in our connection. You're gonna make me do weird things, right? Don't be ridiculous, this isn't some potty trick. You want me to prove I'm serious, don't you? 
and I want answers. This is mutually beneficial. So you're the one going in and doing what exactly? Look for solid answers. How? Nine hells, you ask so many questions, darling. I'm about to hypothetically let you into my mind. Of course I'm gonna have fucking questions into my mind, and you told me if I don't do this correctly, I'm gonna go fucking insane, break my mind, and be a solo husk of a human. Of course I'm gonna have questions, you grim reaper, silly little billy. What the fuck did I- Oh, yeah, 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 let's save. Yeah, let's, let's, let's save this bitch. Yeah, yeah. Return. Stop, 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 stop. You silly little billy, you poop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It almost sounded like, I really want to believe you. Maybe I'm the real crazy one. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. The rats made me crazy. I'm going to examine your aura. Feel it. Smell it. Taste it. It almost sounds gross. What the fuck? Kind of like a creep sometimes, Grim. Maybe it would give me the answers to what's stopping me from completing the godforsaken task. Wait a second. Didn't read that. How do I know this isn't a trick? Well, I suppose that's a fair comment. I will not do anything to harm you. You can trust me. It says the guy wanting to take my soul. What the fuck? I cannot lie. I will not touch a single hair on your head. Fine, I believe you. Well, are you prepared? Uh, as prepared as I'll ever be, I guess. Stay still and prepare yourself. Uh, okay. Um, nearly there. All right. Grim, you there? Shh! Don't break my concentration! Are you sure this is? Stop wiggling. You will cause an irreparable damage and it will be your fault entirely. I will not feel sorry for you. Just keep your eyes on me. Alright, I am. There you are. Oh! Oh, is this my soul breaking? This is so cute and wholesome. Ah. It's... Something feels strange. The connection is stable. Which is lucky, by the way, because of all your wiggling. What the? I, you, dude, what is going on? Huh? I feel so cold. You feel cold. Well, you are dead. Death's cold embrace. I guess that makes sense. What? I'm cold! That's right. That cold feeling. I'm surprised you could feel that. Our connection is stable, sure, but... You really were serious this whole time. You are... Actually, the Grim Reaper. Yes, I told you. Now look somewhere. Now you look somewhat foolish, don't you? Nothing new there. <laughs> As I've been telling you this entire time, I'm always truthful. It seems that you'll find to start to believe me for once. How could that be possible? This is a Q station bigger than you and I. It is. Simply is. Anyways, do you feel that? Um, the connection? Feel it. Like a pull. Good. Can you see through my eyes? How does this work? Not until I transfer a part of my consciousness into you. You haven't done that yet? No. All you've done is link us together. All I've done is link us together. Think of it as a bond of sorts. But I myself will fall through your arm and become a consciousness be inside you. Then I could technically see through your eyes. That makes no fucking sense at all. Of course it makes perfect sense. I knew that. Obviously, I knew that. Obviously, obviously, obviously. So much sense. So much sense that I perfectly knew that as soon as it came out of your mouth, you understood. You, you, you said it and I understood. I was like, yes, yes, I know what this man means. I know the words he is trying to convey to me. Yes, yes, and I know the way he is trying to convey. This is very true. Well, suck it. I'll fuss it. Grim? Yes. What if my mind... It'll be fine. The bridge between us is quite simple. It seems that you and I are quite suited to each other. Oh, it's so cute. It's so romantic. If you say so. You disagree? Uh, not exactly. I do feel like we're suited for each other, like you said. Oh, it's so cute. I'm just unsure about what it means to be suited to death. Literally. Oh, I also don't know. Maybe we'll find out together. Anyways, how do we do this? Picture our connection. A bridge. Okay, I can imagine a bridge. Very impressive. Congratulations. 
One side is yours, the other side is mine. I'm simply going to walk across the bridge with part of my consciousness. What do I do? When I tell you, you simply close your eyes. But hold tight onto the handles, okay? That is the pole of my mind. What happens if I let go? Then you could say bye bye to your mind as you know it. Doesn't sound ideal. Do not let go, for fucking shit's sake. Gotcha. What would happen to you, though? Like, hypothetically speaking, of course. I would pull out of your mind. No doubt pulling parts of yours out too when I do so. Ah. Hold on. Good choice. Whew. I'm going to begin crossing. Take a deep breath and remain calm. Okay. I'll try my best. Close your eyes. Are we gonna kiss? Mwah. <laughs> I actually kissed my mic. <laughs> I got so many germs on my mouth. You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. I, I kissed you a little bit. Oh, I fucking... Oh, is my mic okay? I, I tapped that shit and it, like, just blinked off. And I was like, oopsies. I, I might have fucked everything up. Now we chillin'. When I made it across, you can open them again. I'm gonna save just in case. Because, like, if my mic isn't, like, all hunky-dory sexy-like, then, like, I'm gonna have to do, redo a lot of this shit. And I don't wanna, like, just make it through a whole episode and then realize my mic wasn't working that whole time. That would be very sad. I would cry myself to sleep. Because it has happened before. There has been multiple episodes <laughs> where, like, I filmed a whole ass episode. And then I just looked at the footage. I was editing it. I got so... I was... I filmed this Monster Hunter episode where I, like, explained the whole plot of One Piece. Uh, while playing Monster Hunter. And I was so proud of it. I was like, I did so good that episode. I popped off. Especially in the middle. And I looked... <laughs> I looked at the footage... And two hours out of the five hours I spent on that video, I think like two and a half hours of that video was fucking cut out. <laughs> because, like, my mic wasn't working and shit. And I just cried myself to sleep that night. I had to cut out half the fucking video because my mic just turned off and I, I, I hated it. I just, I just, my soul was drained and I, there was nothing left of me after that moment. Anyways, dot, dot, dot. Um, not that dot. Huh? That doesn't make sense. Interesting. Um, dot, dot, dot. Grim, maybe this is a bad idea. What if I accidentally... Oh, no, calm down. Stop worrying so much. As long as you just stay calm, then nothing will go wrong. Sorry, I'm calm. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I trust you. I was too close. You seriously know how to stress me out. I'm better now. Sorry. I'm nearly there. Stay composed for a bit longer. I'm across. Open your eyes, mortal. Oh, there you are. I, um... Um... Oh. How do you feel? Uh, kind of full. Well, you have more soul in you than usual. Now let's take a look at your aura up close. Ah, I see. What is it? Well, how did you... How could that be? Wait a second. I can hear you in my head. Yes. I should have mentioned this connection has benefits and drawbacks. It is not permanent. It's a little weird. Scary. There I was voices to hear in your head, I'm sure. Um, well, I feel like death itself, the Grim Reaper, might be like up there, but I agree. Like you are. You should be thankful that you've graced with mine. You are graced with mine. So. Can you see my aura? I can see it, yes. Mind you, I could see it before too. Now I can feel it. I suppose. It feels um sparse. Is that bad? Mmm. I'm sure unsure at the moment. I it's I don't know what it means. Hey, why are you putting on that ugly face? What ugly? I'm far from ugly. But what's with the face? It's bright! You're bright. I told you this already. Pay more attention. Right. So you just don't like light, do you? Fucking gamers, am I right? Do you spark on the sun like that vampire from that movie? What? No. It's just... Ugh. My eyes look too closely. Yeah. I'm just so sensitive, okay? I bet you are. <laughs> Fucking... 
Be careful to not damage your eyes, then. Don't look too close, alright? Wink. Fantastic advice. Except I must look closer if I am able to work out what exactly is wrong with you. But it hurts you. That makes me feel kind of bad. I'll deal with it. So, are souls supposed to be that bright? Sometimes. Souls can shine or glow like yours. It's rare, but it's not unheard of. What? I didn't mean. I meant my eyes! My eyes! My eyes are sensitive, not me. Hmm. Does yours not look the same or feel the same as everyone else's? Maybe you should try smelling it. <laughs> you did say you were going to do that, right? Taz knows it. That honestly sounds like a good thing. What a lack of smell tells us is that you're indeed not cursed. Which is good, but it doesn't explain anything at all. Close your eyes again. It'll help me concentrate. Okay. Blink. Um. What the? What is it now? Uh. Rip. Open. Uh. What's up? What's up, big man? So, give me the diagnosis, dog. In all my years, I've never seen anything like this. What is it? You. Me? Close your eyes again. What? No, sorry, explain. Just do as you're told. So bossy. You don't mind. Uh, I'm the best of the best. There is no one better on your plane than in mine, than I. I am everything people should strive to be. Steve out again. Pop off, Steve. <laughs> uh, that's kind of nowhere. I like the positivity, though. It's an undisputable fact. Yet, I cannot make sense of this. Maybe you're not the best, then. I feel like the best would be able to make sense of this, I'm just saying. Nonsense. That is not an option. If anything, this is a problem with you, not me. Mmm. Wow, okay. Ouch. I see how it is. Your aura. It. It pulses, ebbs, and ebbs. Pulses. Your mom also pulses and ebbs on my cock. Fucking got him, boys. Ha ha ha. When you try to close your eyes, yes, it pulses. Open the new and fuck me. Um, like my pulsating cock entering your mother. <laughs> and now, now it ripples. The colors flow like an oar on water. Maybe it's a shield. Is there something you need protection from? Uh, um, you? I won't tell me. I've told you such. Yeah, you won't hurt me this time. But you're still after my soul, right? Correct. But not today. I am still not at my full strength. And I believe you for now. I'm not quite sure if I believe you for now, but let's pretend I do. That's fair. So, no answers? You cannot rush perfection. Unlike me, I was rushed and I'm perfect. No, but I can rush you. Well, I will look into it more later. There must be something mentioned in the tone somewhere. Pulsating auras. And then there's yours. Other issues. Other issues? Until I understand what's going on, it's best you do not ask questions. I know, I know. That will be far too difficult for you. Out of all the mortals in existence, you must be the one who asks the most questions. Why can't I ask questions? Oh, do you look at that to another question? Uh, haha. <laughs> Knowledge is dangerous, you know. Especially if it's wrong. So you'll tell me once you know more? Perhaps. Maybe. If you behave or beg. I'd rather not. Then perhaps I'd rather not tell you. That's not fair. The only thing fair in life is death. Okay, very funny. I think it's time for me to go. Time is a taken enough. Now, so suddenly, I need rest, and I need answers. The answers will be coming first. Real. Take care of yourself, okay? My well-being comes second to my responsibility. Real. The responsibility of being the Grim Reaper? That is correct. I still cannot believe it. I feel like I should be worried for my soul, but... Not very threatening. I can be the threatening when I want to. You just haven't seen that side of me. You can show it to me. Not today. When I don't believe you. Moto! I do not lie. So you said it. Hmm? I'm hanging up. Trying not to mess. Try not to miss gazing into my eyes too much. I won't. 
told me I had to. Indeed. But you stride, you stared for too long after you needed to. You're always staring at me, aren't you? What? What? No, me stand. No, I would never. Absolutely did not stare. I never have. Hmm. Your eyes bore me into the flames. Your eyes bore into me like flames. I bore into your mother like flames. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Do you like my face that much? It would be understandable. My face is quite perfect. You don't even have to answer. How could you? I'm sure you have a flaw somewhere on my body. My skin is flawless. I am without flaw. Real. Real and relatable. He just like me for real, for real. Everyone has flaws. Not us. Not me. I am not you. That is very evident, Mr. Grim Reaper, sir. Still making fun of my title, huh? Yes. Smiley face. You actually being the Grim Reaper doesn't mean you're not cringe. You're, you're very cringe, Grim. I'm leaving now. Try not to get up too much in trouble while I'm gone. I, I, Mr. Grim Reaper. You can at least try to sound a little scared. No, I'm not scared of shit. Fuck you. By the way, I'm assuming I can't tell people about you. Absolutely not. If I find out that you have told others of this, there will be a hell to pay. Like anyone at all? Do you really have a death wish? Is that not evident? Maybe I just like pushing your buttons. You are truly infuriating. Thank you, smiley face. Me too. Dubs, I can't believe you changed your profile pic to that. You're edgy teenagers like ass. I do not see what's funny about it. I do not want to be contacted. The solid black picture seems to be a convey that. <laughs> Definitely did, buddy. <clears throat> I feel like you're being sarcastic, but I will out this once. Go rest. You may not feel it, but your mind will need it after what happened. Nice to know you care, buddy. Or don't. Suffer for it later. Your choice. I don't care either way. Such a heartwarming support. Thank you. I suppose I'll take it this one time. Ugh. I will take it. Eventually. My heart? Your heart, your soul, you. Entirely. That's a bold claim. No other shall have you. Oh, that's so cute and romantic. Good night, sunshine. Oh, he's so wholesome with it. Good night, starlight. Third day complete. New items added to the gallery. Baller. Baller. Fuck. Ball alert. Who is a baller? Me. Today was a very strange day for you. And turns out the Grim Reaper is real. Real. And video calling you like it's nothing. You spent the majority of the day at work unable to be productive. How could you after such a revelation? You get back to your apartment. You feel a little pent up energy. And you decide to take the steps rather than the elevator. Just as you reach the floor, you hear a loud bang. A few people come out from the apartments to find out what happened. You later learn that the elevator has had a manufacturing manu ma malfunctioning cable. Oh my god. And it snapped, plummeting on multiple floors down. Suddenly, you feel very glad you have walked. And with that, I'm going to save this bitch and end it here. Hey boys, if you like this episode and if you, you, you want to see more of this silly little Grim Reaper adventure, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you all being here. Thank you all for watching. And um, I'll see you next time, boys. Bye-bye.